Just saw your video on uh, your opinions on the PS3, and uh, throughout the video, I kind of felt had uh, felt myself disagreeing with you. A lot of things you said. So, uh, guess why not? Why not go head to head with you? All right. Uh, you begin by saying um, that the sixth generation of gaming was the best or the peak of gaming because. Um, you give examples as the graphics, hardware, and everything. Well, Doug, those terms are too... Well, first of all, let's tackle the first one. You say the first one is uh, uh, graphics. Well, obviously that's not true. I mean, this generation of gaming has better graphics. So, unless you're meaning something else, uh, right there, that one's wrong. You say hardware, well, in terms of what? You never really specify how the hardware of the 6th generation is better than the hardware of the 7th. So, that's crap. And then you say, well, so pretty much you never really give a good concrete argument for why the 7th, uh, the 6th generation of gaming is better than 7th. Alright, uh, then uh, you move on to the fact that, um, that the PS2's life cycle was expanded because of demand and you say something about the re the reason was because the PS like it was so much better than the PS well PS3 and stuff like that well Doug you kinda missed the point there I mean the the PS2 at the time had a massive install base um, and it, because of that there was still demand for it um, there was still demand for games for it. Um, there, not a lot of people, Doug, wanted to buy a new system. It, this is nothing to do with what system is better, Doug. This is at all to do with people just don't want to buy another video game console, Doug. Um, especially the more casual they are, the more they don't want to buy one. Um, this is all just have to do with consumers and and for the fact that uh, it doesn't help that uh, the PS3 um, price at the time was pretty steep. It was six hundred dollars, but six hundred dollars. Uh, that also ha might have something to do with more demand for the PS2. But you never really bring that up. Like that 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 Doug was a legitimate argument against the PS3. The fact that the price was too high initially. And that's why too, too many people were still in the, with the PS2. That was a legitimate argument, but you never brung it up. I don't know, maybe you just couldn't think of it, but whatever. You go on to talk about the PS3 exclusives, such as Uncharted, Resistance, Killzone. Um, oh, uh, little, uh, and you say that for some reason the Call of Duty is an exclusive to the series, and you later say that Batman Arkham Asylum is an exclusive to the series, and that P, uh, that Sony was somehow had a hand in creating it. Uh, well, Doug, Call of Duty is not an exclusive to the PS3, and neither is Batman Arkham Asylum or its sequel, and Sony had nothing to do with the creation of Batman Arkham uh, Asylum and its sequel. So, I don't know why the hell you said that. Once again, you're talking out of your ass. And as for the exclusives that are re the real exclusive to the PS3, not that bullcrap you made up, um, you, I guess your main criticism of these games, I mean, you really don't give any of them. You, you just say they're garbage. You just blatantly say they're garbage. And, you know, I can always say, okay, if you don't like them, you don't like them, but you're trying to explain why you don't like them, and I don't... And you say that they're just garbage shooters that so that only PS3 fanboys can play online. Well, Doug, once again, th this is not a so a criticism to the PS3, but the entire gaming industry at this ex uh, at this point. For uh, shoot first-person shooters and uh, likewise other shooting games have become the dominant game that everyone wants to make. This is not a problem with the, just the PS3. This is a problem with every console right now. With the whole gaming industry, people have said it wa countless times that there are too many first-person shooters right now, but they would never ever blame this problem on a single console because they know that the this is a entire industry problem. 
So I don't know why the hell you're trying to blame a, a, a um, try to get a criticism of in, the entire gaming industry on a single console. Um, I think you know the, for the fact that most of the Xbox exclusives, you know, are shooting games too. And I don't. And you could always say, you know, there's always there's just too many shooting games out there, and that's a legitimate argument, but that's not an argument against the PS3. That's an argument against the entire gaming industry and the, and the trends that are going on nowadays. So, once again, you're talking out of your ass. You then move on to talk about some other games, and I, to be honest with you, I don't know what games you're talking about, so I won't talk, you know, I won't criticize you on them. Um, you, um, because I, I don't know what you're talking about at that time. But then you move on to talk about Marvel vs. Capcom, and then you say some of the... First, you then, then you say that one's just a crappy rehash of the original games. Well, Doug, a lot of people don't like the Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but they never, ever, ever said that it, because they, they don't like it because... It's a rehash of the original games. If anything, most people don't like Marvel's Capcom 3 because it's too different from the original games. Um, Marvel's Capcom 3 is much, much, much more simpler than the first two games. They Capcom realized that in order for them to hit a bigger audience, they needed to simplify their games, and that's exactly what they did. That's exactly why some people don't like it either, dude. Um, to say it's a rehash is to say that, for the most part, the mechanics and the complexity of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was intact in 3, which is not true. They don't even have the same button scheme. But whatever, uh, once, you know, why would you know anything about this anyway? Then you move on to talk about saying that Marvel vs. Capcom 3 has no storyline. And, while well, you can say, yeah, that's... You know, I, I mean, most games have storylines. Well, that's... To say the, tell you the truth, Doug, most people don't buy fighting games, and most people don't make fighting games for a storyline, or for stories, or for plot. They make it for the gameplay. They make it for the fighting. You know, the fighting aspect of a fighting game. Never in history has there been a fighting game where its core, you know, with, with it, with, where its core emphasis was on the plot. <sighs> but, whatever, you know, fighting games in general don't have very good storylines, and, you know, you cannot like fighting games for that. I mean, like, oh, I don't like fighting games because they don't have good stories. You could say that, but you can't blame it once again on one game because th this this game is pretty much just a representative represented of the entire fighting, all, of all fighting games. There has never been a fighting game where the entire emphasis has been on story. There has never been a fighting game that won an award because its plot was so good. So, to have to have a fighting game that has a complete absence of plot or a story is not really a big criticism to that game. Because in fighting games in general, really, you know, they, they could live without a plot, pretty much. Um, then you talk about Mortal Kombat 9. Um, once again, same thing that applies to the Marvel vs. Capcom 3, you kind of blame the plot. Um, which, by the way, is this, the plot of Mortal Kombat 9 was the same plot that was in Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. And you talk about how awesome the previous games are, but the plot of the previous games is the same plot of Mortal Kombat 9. So that doesn't make any sense, but whatever, I mean... I guess in your world it does, um, and one and to be fair, Doug, I mean, Mortal Kombat did an excellent job for a fighting game to tell a plot. I mean, you know how uh, I said before that how most fighting games don't even try to tell a plot. Well, Mortal Kombat at least attempted to make a good, uh, at least an entertaining plot in a story. It had a, it actually had a story. So for most fighting games, I think Mortal Kombat excelled in the story department so I, I don't think no one can ever bash Mortal Kombat for its plot but anyway I guess that's concluding your whole I guess spiel on the PS3 and 
to be honest, most of these criticisms, Doug, were not very uh, specific. They really didn't. In, but for the more more importantly, Doug, most of these criticisms aren't really aren't really targeted towards the PS3. They're targeted at at this new generation of games. This generation of games. You don't. Um, so my question to you is because because most of your arguments are be, are against this generation of games why are you specifically attacking the PS3 why aren't you just saying this generation of games sucks which is what this video should have been about but it wasn't anyway and if you did if you do honestly don't like the PS3 why don't you actually come back and have some good concise and specific arguments that actually attack the PS3 not just attack the gaming industry as a whole so there you go Doug maybe some time to think um, probably something you don't do often but whatever alright uh, this might have been my response to you this is uh, so just black and fist out man